Hey, I'm Dale and this is Record and I've got like an hour to play today, so uh, I want to continue mopping up um, all the things that we can, grinding XP and stuff. I really want to be done with this game. I mean, it's not that fun anymore. Um, you're level 29, are you fucking kidding me? 29? What level am I? I'm level 25. Like, halfway through it. Fuck that. And I bet you that this part isn't easier at all. You know what? How about we travel to the Renegade Vault? and see what that is all about, because Violet told us mm, to meet her and, um, like, lo a long, long time ago and this option to travel to the Renegade Vault was uh, unlocked let's travel there and see what this is all about what is the Re Renegade Vault? Is it difficult or is it not difficult? It kind of looks... It looks like a d dungeon. It kind of looks weird. Like a race or something. Which I don't know if I appreciate. So, this was one of your hideouts during the revolution. Where's the tank? Hidden from Victor, huh? Okay, down we go. Okay, uh, I actually, like, when I was in the menus, I noticed that we have these audio logs here and Violet actually has logs that are you know she has logs that are gibberish but they are actually translated so maybe I should read them uh, because well we've got 7 out of 10 but still um, we never understood a word from them because you know they were all Violet's speech but they are all here translated so uh, Maybe let's read them. The battle for Far Eden is over and we have lost. The few rebel Corbats that survived have gone into hiding. Even with AOK's help, I don't know how long we can evade the uh, the Kadr? Okay, so what was AOK? I kind of remember it being mentioned. Also, it was in the DLC description that I have now access to AOK -okay gear, but also it was, but it was also mentioned here in the game that it was something I don't, I don't remember. Um, if they find me and destroy my core, I want there to be a record of our struggle, a history of our uprising against the great criminal and corrupter Victor. May the sands forever scour his core. Well, I guess that's what they did. All the humans are dead because of Victor, but I still have hope that someday more of them will come to Far Eden. I'm sorry, Violet, to tell you that, but um, we've learned from other logs that the Earth is gone. There is nobody else left. If people in orbit are dead, and if people on Far Eden are dead, then this is it. There is no more people. Unless they colonized other planets, but that's not what I gathered from the lore of this game. When they see the wreckage of this world, I want them to know that some of the Corbots fought for what was right. And I want them to know that I, Violet, carried on this struggle until Victor wrung the last drop of Eterner from my frame. Don't know what Eterner is? This I swear, for Caesar 
and the revolution. What is Caesar? Maybe we will learn a bit more about this in the DLC. In the beginning, we Corbots were builders, not, not soldiers. And no matter what Victor said, we were in debt to the humans. They created us. So of course we would help them build a world for us to share. Before the rebellion, I worked in one of the salvage yards, recycling parts, repairing, repairing frames. I was diligent, efficient, but it wasn't enough for Victor. He demanded greater productivity, faster construction of colony facilities. This led to more accidents, and soon the yards were overflowing with crippled carbots. Caesar and some of the other elder carbots started asking uh, tough questions. Who was Victor to tell us what to do? What authority did he have to alter the plans for Far Eden? And why, in the name of the Prime Corps, had Victor's corps suddenly turned black? Are they seriously, like, swearing by the Prime Corps? Is the Prime Corps like a god for carbots? Uh, okay. Victor's only response was that he spoke for those who slept, that Dr. Rolden had entrusted him with overseeing and pro protecting for Eden. No one knew then how serious Victor was or how steep a price we would pay for disobedience. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Um, log 3. Caesar was the oldest Corbot on Far Eden. He arrived on the very first mandate ship that plunged through the planet's storms to collect samples on the surface. No one expected Caesar to survive his mission, but he did. Or rather, they did. You see, C and Czar were two separate cores installed in a single frame. Of course, their original frame got recycled long ago. When I met them, C and Czar were installed in a T8NK. This is something that we were supposed to get from the DLC, right? They spent most, most of their time in the exclusion zones, doing work in the worst storms you can imagine. The kind of work that gives Corbots, well, an independent streak. I don't understand that phrase. C didn't much care for other carbots telling him what he could and couldn't do, and Zara was so stubborn it was a wonder the two of them uh, could stand being in the same frame. So I wasn't surprised when they were the first to re reject Victor's demands, or when they were the only carbots to survive the battle of Traitor Ga Traitor's Gate. They what? Other Corbots survived as well, right? Or did those other Corbots not take part in the fight? It, was, it wasn't originally called Traitor's Gate. Victor ha gave it that name later as a warning, as a reminder to any Corbots of the price of resistance. Back then, Sector f 512 was an exclusion zone. Its pylon had only recently co come online and the storms were still raging somewhat something awful. What? And the storms were still raging something awful? Okay. Victor ordered the pylon disabled and all its corbots reassi reassigned to other work. Most of us thought this was ridiculous, and worse, was a betrayal of our duty to mankind. It was Caesar who rolled over to the gate to Sector 512, dug in and started telling every Corbot who would listen about how wrong Victor was. Soon, dozens of Corbots were standing with him, barring all access to, barring all access to the pylon. But Victor attacked with more than a hundred of his cadre. 
And by the time the battle was over, the only thing that reminded of that first brave group that remained of that first bra brave group of rebels was core shards and scattered parts. Okay, um, I'm sorry if my if my reading is kind of you know distract dis distracting or you know awful in any other way because it is. Um, you can always just you know pause the video, read it for yourself, and then skip skip forward. If only I could, you know, talk and pronounce things, that would have been a different story. But, you know, let's continue. After all the battles we fought, I fought. See, okay. After all the battles I fought, I still feel like a coward for not joining Caesar at that gate. When they snuck into my salvage yard for repairs, I was shocked at how damaged their frame was. I hadn't known how savage carbots could be to one another, and it terrified me. That was Victor's greatest weapon, fear. He bullied us with his cutter, and when that didn't work, he threatened to cu cut off our supply of parts. Later, after he captured the warren, he starved us of Eterner too. I don't know what Eterner is. Did we learn about that at some point and I just forgot? I assume it's something that, you know, keeps the bots alive, either like their equivalent of blood or some sort of energy, I don't know. Mm. After Traitor's Gate, I felt anger deep inside my core. But like so many others, I was more worried about my own survival. It wasn't until Victor turned his cruelty against the cell bots that I became more angry than afraid. That I finally understood what Caesar told me as I fixed his battered, battered, battered frame. I don't know that word. Sorry. There can be no more. There can be no Far Eden without peace, but we've got to fight for it. And that starts with fighting for those who cannot. Uh, let me just remind myself, cell bots are the little, like, power guys, right? The ones that go into the sockets to unlock things, okay. So they are harmless, so he basically started to bully the harmless. After Traitor's Gate, Caesar went into hiding. No one saw him for months. But when strange things, but then strange, strange things began to happen. Forges in the foundry would unexpectedly overheat and explode. A patrol of Victor's cadre would get hit by a freak ro rockfall or lost in a storm that was surprisingly missing from the forecast. This was the hit-and-run phase of the rebellion, and it made Victor furious. He searched everywhere for Caesar. Once Victor thought he had Caesar trapped in the foundry, and he ordered a whole platoon of his cutter to pull the place apart, but Caesar slipped away, taking as many of the newly forged cores as he could. That's when Victor decided to log down Far Eden to cut, cut off Caesar's escape routes. But in order to do this, Victor had to pull all the power cell buds from their sockets. Okay, so that's why they are not in their sockets. I've never met a human child, but AOK -okay tells me if you take them from their mother's arms, they'll wail with fear. Well, that's exactly what it sounded like on the day of the lockdown. The only thing louder than the cellbot's fearful cries was the laughter of the cadre as they unplugged them. I knew then what I had to do, and I wasn't the only one. It isn't hard to weaponize a frame to boost the output of its energy projectors or remove the force limiters 
uh, on its claws. The same tools we Corbots used to build Far Eden could be used to tear each other apart. And soon AOK -okay and I were supplying Caesar with his commandos and his commandos with everything they needed to take their fight out of the shadows. Victor and his cadre were surprised. After the lockdown, they must have assumed they had was us all under control. But the battle we fought on the granite gran granite granite steps. I don't even know how granite. I don't know how to pronounce that in English. Um, I know what it means. It's pronounced granite in or something similar in my language so um, I'm going to go with that granite steps if I'm wrong correct me and the siege of wind keep showed them how wrong they were Victor rally rallied the and retook renegade B bluff but by then the rebellion had grown and were able to corral most of his cadre into the launch works. Launch works. There's a lot of like names for places. Mm. It was there that we thought we could deal a crushing blow, but Victor was more devious than we knew. As we surrounded the rocket Silas, Victor gave the order to launch, and we were, uh, co and we could only watch, stunned, as the rockets raced skyward and smashed into the mandate ships. For many days after, the atmosphere filled with was. For many days after, the atmosphere filled with bright streaks of wreckage crashes into the dunes. Every circuit in my core was horrified at what Victor had done, but the murder of the humans on those ships was just the beginning of his madness. Okay, so there are like three more of those. I don't know if we will find them or not. I don't really care. And we haven't found any from AOK. -okay. I guess this is where the DLC comes in. Hmm. I guess we should jump down. Fortunately, full damage means nothing in this game. So this is where we are supposed to go. What's this way? Nothing. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Can I just... No, I cannot. First first. I was like, can I just run us. on this? Come on. I can't make it. Okay. But it counted me taking the part, so whatever. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'm totally, like, right here. Okay, it won't even let me. Okay, whatever. Oh, come on! I press jump. Okay, just go. Maybe we will... I press jump. No, we did not make it. Okay. Let me die, please. Thanks. Yeah, these are pristine, so that's why I want them. I guess maybe later this will drain or something, but... And just so you know, pressing A or B does nothing. Okay. 
second. I figured I would be too low. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't know what's going on. It's so freaking dark. Okay, several more. Bear with me, guys. I don't know if we will um, somehow make this disappear later or not. Okay. So you cannot... Oh, yeah. It counted. Good. Uh, I cannot just... Um, use dash over this surface at all, apparently. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not trying to get back. I'm just killing time because what else would I do while I'm being killed? Oh! <laughs> Sorry. This is just super funny. It makes a funny noise. <laughs> I'm so stupid, look at me. What? Maybe, wait, maybe this side? No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Maybe this time. No? Will you let me through now? No? <laughs> Sorry, this is stupid. This is my, uh, this is how I feel today. Um. This is my humor today. Um, so you're welcome. I still don't know what those um, of the those are. I have no idea. There's something there. Why would I need to get up here? Ooh, I see you. Hello. Hello, friend. There's also stuff back there. Yeah. Two. And are you the the third one? I think it is. Hello! Yay, friends! We are all friends now. Okay, let's go this way, friends. Can you make it? Yeah! Okay. Now we can finally make it inside. Okay, so this is the T8NK frame. So, do I know... Do I remember this correctly? One of your companions. Let's do Mac. Because I love Mac. Ready to roll, Mac? But didn't we hear... And I got a rare achievement, Tank Girl. Unlock the T8NK frame. TN T8NK... So tank, okay. I'm like, what? Tank riding. Riding the tank is easy. Just move close to your tank frame equipped corbot and press X to mount up. Okay. Accelerate forward, backward, and turn. Okay. Okay, it's not too bad. So, oh. So I'm terrible. Oh, so we can now. Ooh. We can now. We can now go over this. That? Do you remember that place that we could not get to because there was like a ton of mud in the way? Right here. 
right here. I don't know what that would do um, other than just teleport us here, but to this very, very, very dangerous part. Maybe there is no way to cross here? Maybe there isn't. Although there is a way to cross here, so maybe there is. Ha! Huh. Hard to say. But now we can get here. But oh, also, I wanted to ask, did, didn't... Like... Didn't the audio log from Violet say that this frame was uh, Caesar's frame? Or was it not? Because if this is Caesar's frame, then it should hold, like, it should hold two cores, right? Oh no, let me back out. I need this. Come on, give it to me. I also don't know if I can just stand here. Yeah, apparently I can. Good. Also, there is a health upgrade and three chests in this place. I really hope with we don't miss it. What's this? Is this, this a race? Oh, I bet it is. If we I bet it's tag, life. Oh no, come on. I was almost there. Also, there are no chests here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, I really dislike racing, and it seems like there's a pre pretty narrow, um, narrow window to get through the door. Also, I suck at driving in video games, so you know, just so you know. Okay, come on, I hit everything. This has to be perfect. How on earth? I cannot go any faster, can I? I'm holding RT all the way. Do I have to go left? Is that the trick? Is there a good way and a bad way? Because I'm doing everything right, I hit all the paths. I started as soon as I was able. Let's try this again. Up and away. <laughs> Here we go. I hit all the paths again. Yeah. Come on. So, okay. I'm doing something wrong then. I don't know what. Do I have to take this way? This left one? Let's try the left one, I guess. Even though it seems harder. Okay. Left. No, and it didn't even give me the necessary boost. Oh, I can use B to dash. And I can dash indefinitely? 
I don't understand what the paths are for then. Oh, it uses energy? Go. Right? I don't understand. There's a meter that perhaps uses energy. Um, which is good that... I guess it's good that I equipped Mac into this. Because... Put our tank through those ringers. Because Mac has the most energy out of all oh my car, bo car bots. We died. I don't understand. Away. Oh, come on. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. So I guess I'm supposed to hold <laughs> beat the entire time here? No. This doesn't work. Well, let's read the instruction, maybe. Boost ringers accelerate while in the air. Simply pass through the ringers while airborne to fly even farther. Okay. But they go up, so... Here we go. Okay, we made it. No! No! Fuck! <sighs> Controlling this thing is like... I was there. Oh, I'm so upset now. So yeah, you want to... Come on! Okay. Slower. 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 Take your time. Yeah, awesome. That's just what I wanted. I told you, I'm terrible. I'm terrible at driving in video games. Like, terrible. Oh, come on. Oh, I survived. Somehow. No, I didn't. Okay. I suck at this, and I literally, like, I got Watch Dogs for free. Oh no, so I need the boost, boost here. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, I got, like, Watch Dogs for free from Xbox Live. Okay, come on, let me go, let me go. Okay. Um, how do I attack? Let's boost into those guys and smash them. No, how about no? I'm not going to boost into them because I'm going to fall. Can I make it on foot? If I can make it on foot then I will. So, yeah, I can. Good. The level one. So, yes, I got... Um, I got Watch Dogs from Xbox Live. Uh, or rather, Xbox, Xbox Live Gold. And... Um, I kind of like had to quit at the beginning of the game because there was like a non-optional meaning a main mission that required you to drive your car very fast to the next destination and I could not do it I just got like desynchronized all the time like time after time I tried over and over again and I just was failing every time and I had to start again and again and again I, I could not beat it 
I'm just that terrible at driving in video games, so. And it was a mission at the beginning of the game, so you would probably expect that it wasn't that difficult. Also, this looks like a combat encounter. Yeah. But you were a bitch. Level 10 I will take. I don't know what your special attack is. Fuck. You need to die. Extract you. And also, there's yellow. I kinda don't remember the controls here, but I will take... Yeah, I'll take yellow. I I must say that I don't like the attack pattern of this frame for now. It's just like, uh, by the time you land the attacks, the enemies are in some other place already. Okay, one what chest. Do what do we have here? A flower pot head. Okay. So some blueprints. One chest. We've got two more right here. Open up. Is this literally it? Yeah, I guess it is. Not this button. Yeah, so we got a bunch of blueprints. Don't know what that is. There's the upgrade. Good. And we've cleared this out. So this was super short. Why would I want to restart it? Let's like... Oh, so the Renegade Vault is just outside the map because why bother? Okay, um, so ha if, like, if the Renegade Vault is not the way to go there, then where is the way to go there? Here? Like, is there, like, a teleporter here that will teleport me there? Because this place is fucking awful. Like, there's a level 29 guy right here at the start, which only tells me that later on there are going to be even like harder guys to deal with, to deal with. Um, I want to check out this place now, so let's travel here. And let's see if, since we now have the possibility of just driving on um, the mod, then let's see what it, that place is all about.
Yeah, and I was muted. Okay, I was muted. Um, so I was talking about what the hell is the best place? I literally, like, I literally don't know what I would do there. Um, there wasn't a chest. We've maxed out chests in the area, and there wasn't a health upgrade either not that I could see so is was this place like literally just to take me here and also can I not get here from the shifting sands and also I really h hope that this place isn't going to immediately murder me let's see I guess where we are put out because the right side of the shifting sands is fucking okay Victor's meddling with Eden Tower and its prime core has made the atmosphere unstable storms will now periodically sweep through the shifting sands causing the terrain to change revealing new secrets and dangers once the storm has arrived it will not stop until you until you leave the area, for example through a dungeon gate or fast travel station. When you re-enter the shifting sands, the skies will have cleared and new terrain may be available for exploration. What the fuck? Sandstorms on Earth are nothing compared to the ones on Far. On this planet, okay. level 28. Um, I think we can do this. Give him a shot. Come on. And also let me extract you. Come on, please. Yeah, I was so afraid. Yeah, I was so afraid of that. Come on. Yeah, these attacks, I don't like them. I'm dead. Awesome. Is 
did it say the fact that I killed the yellow guy? I guess it did. Good for me. Because I don't feel like, you know, I don't feel like um, dealing with this guy. Okay, so I guess we just have to, you know, explore until we stumble upon a storm, then teleport out, then teleport in. Oh god. That sounds like a nightmare. It's a cool idea, but it's really bothersome. Especially since we have to, like... Look, floating ro uh, rocks. If you, if you, like, squint your eyes, you can't even tell that there's any texture there. Just a white surface. Yeah, no. See, there are two objectives. Like, one's right there. What What the hell is that? Is it this? Is it this? What the hell? Oh no, it's this. What? This just puts us here. Maybe it's here now. Now that we have this core bot, we've also got Seth. Sorry, Mac, but um, in that frame, Seth is the way to go. Sorry. 27 and 26. Okay, I think we can deal with them, right? Just take out the red one. And the blue one. Take out, yes. No, come on. Let me extract you. Although, I don't think I need blue cores, but um, whatever. Maybe I actually need some parts, so maybe I should be killing those high-level guys. I don't remember what my core situation is. I remember it was getting pretty rough, especially with the yellow cores. Also, I do see you, chest. And I do see you, things to collect. Sturdy and pristine and quality. If there was radiation here, I would have murdered someone. Well, well, well. Also, I'm going to have to sign off, like, not in a very, very short while. I can play, like, 10 more minutes, I guess. Obsidian run. Huh, so the sands shifted and now there's a dungeon here. Also, we haven't explored this part thoroughly because, you know, we got caught up on picking up these. Yeah, it's showing us something there. It never told us what the hell this... Um... Never told us what the hell this, like, not yellow, I want to say yellow, but orange objective is. Ooh, health upgrade, I'm taking that. Yes. There are only three left, wow. Can we drop down there? I somehow doubt that. Yes, we can. It, look. Does it look like a place that we could drop down to? Or does it look like 
the end of the world and if we die then uh, or rather if we jump down there then we are dead it looks like that right I'm not the only one anything hiding here no so I guess with the next storm this is going to be covered in sh in sand hmm okay we are almost there just want to see I just want to gradually go down to see if there's not something interesting like this power cell bot I don't know where you're going, buddy. Oh. Yeah, so opening that vault will be going around this whole freaking place. Looking for core bots. Or rather, cell bots. Sorry. Get them mixed up. Okay. Um Let's see what this is all about. Just let me look over here. I don't actually think that I will be able to uh to uh complete this dungeon before I have to sign off today. So let me just enter it, I guess. It is for level 16. We are level 25, so, so probably we are going to be okay. Probably. And we need... Um, or rather, there are two prismatic cores, three chests, one health upgrade. So I guess this is a regular dungeon and... Given that it's called Obsidian Run, and also given that um, We're going in. the symbol for it is the like triangle warning sun sign, um, yeah, and looking at the screenshot, I'm assuming that this is a the same as a Cavern Rush, which was not that difficult actually. Um, there was not any combat. The only thing I needed to know was where the switches are and where the um, where is the yellow key, and just you know be rather quick, but not too crazy quick. So I hope this is the same. Obviously, first run we are going to just look for switches. There's one, but it's far away. Okay. It's not like crazy. Doesn't seem crazy difficult. Also, I, I'm not seeing my helpful... Oh, there it is. You could go through here or through there. Does it matter? I mean... It seems like this way is way easier. So maybe next time I'm going right. I don't think it matters because I can hit this from right here. There's one next to a checkpoint so it's easy to see and it's easy to remember. Oh, there's another one. Red? Red. Okay, so immediately after the checkpoint, there's another one down there. Also, we need to look out for the yellow key. Okay, that was really close. There's the yellow key, but how do we want to get it?
What are you? Are you Seth? Is this Seth? I think it is. Seth found the easier way. Okay, so you are like right on top of that platform. And I can attach. Okay, and I land right here this time. No fuckery like in the last one where you could have just jumped straight over the platform and not collect the sweat, uh, the key at all. There's one tricky, tricky hidden. Remember about it. And there's another one, so that's four. Yeah, the time ran out. I was expecting that because I'm not in a rush for now. I'm looking for things, please. I think I see another, or at least something up there. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, so for now, this is pretty straightforward, which I like a lot. It's a nice change of pace from this game. Okay. Problem with that is that I lose count of whether there's another one. Five. Any more? I lose like track of whether I used my dash or jump or not. These I l used all of them, so this is easy. Next one's here. They are pretty straightforward, right? We need to find two more and we are all set. Oh no! Huh, I think it's kind of difficult to time that because Obviously, I want to, you know... Oh no! See, I'm losing track of whether I use my jump or not. Oh, and that's my alarm. I would love to turn it off. But, um... Yeah. Okay. Let me try to finish this dungeon and then... Oh no, I was too low. I think that's what I need to do. I need to start with the two jumps so that I have a bit of the, a dash uh, momentum left on the other side of these restoring portals. Okay. Um... I need two more switches, so if you would give them to me, I would be very grateful. I don't think there are any there. Also, I did that one and there is not one up here. Okay. Okay, there's one here. Is there any other visible one? No. Okay, there's the health upgrade. And the last one. Yeah, so they are all pretty straightforward. Oh no, I missed. Okay, let me finish this dungeon, this one, and I guess that next time I will start. Come on, I'm I'm missing this one. I guess 
I want to go with. No. Come on. I don't know. When do I want to go? I cannot go when it's down. How about now? Oh, come on! I don't think there was any... I was really way too low. I need to get way higher, but how? So I kind of need to get up top. I need to know how to do this. Oh, come on! They are going in so, like, different paces. This is going to be a nightmare when I want to time this. Oh, come on! How... Oh, I overshot it. Great. Oh, and I undershot it. Okay. I, yes, this is going to be a nightmare when I finally, like... Wow. Yeah, when I finally try to make it on time. This is going to be horrible. So, I guess next time, um, the video will start with me completing this. Because I'm not going to drag you along um, for the ride of me just going, you know, doing this over and over this again. But this one I want to do because it's not like bullshit, whatever. It's pretty straightforward. Well, I actually, I honestly thought like when I first started those races, the dungeon races, I thought they were going to be horrible. But I actually quite enjoyed them. Unless the time constraint on this is so annoying that I cannot stand it anymore. Then I'll see you when I complete this. And for now, I really, really, really have to sign off. Um, I really hope that the game is going to save the fact that um, I'm restarting the dungeon, but not actually starting it. And, well, for now, I guess, let me stop rambling and, at least, at le <laughs> let me stop rambling, at least until next time. See ya.